Hi, Roger here from Google Cloud, and in this video, we'll have a look at Pay Later and its relation to open banking, a sample implementation of the API, and the wider picture of consuming and publishing APIs. Open banking is a system of allowing access and control of consumer banking and financial accounts through third-party applications. It encourages interoperability between banks and consumers by making available the bank's core services and accelerating their digital transformation. First, we'll show you a common use case, and then we'll unpack it for you. We'll start with the end user experience. An API consumer, in this case, a merchant in the e-commerce industry offering last minute Chromebook deals, develops a new app experience using Google Assistant. Let's have a look. Talk to Pixelbook Deal Store. Hi, welcome to the Pixelbook Deal Store. What can I do for you? Are there any special offerings? Here you go. You've selected Pixelbook Go, 16 gigabytes RAM, costing 854 pounds. Would you like to pay now or pay later? Pay later. Okay, now choose the bank you're with. After login to your bank, I need to link your Pixelbook Deal Store account to Google. Is that okay? Yes. When your account is linked to Google, the app can customize your experience based on your identity. Financial data or authentication data cannot be collected via the conversational interface. So we're now shown the terms and conditions for pay later, and there's a link to review those conditions. Simply click on it and then return to the deal page when ready. Here's a sample reference to a terms and conditions page. Whenever we're ready, we can go back to the main screen and say all good. We now see some of the loan offers to pay later. We can scroll up and still reference the terms and conditions if we want to. Once we're ready, we'll select the desired loan. Okay, that's it. Pixelbook Go 16 gigabytes RAM is now yours. We'll take it from there and send you a confirmation email that will short you. Speak soon. Bye. Until now, we've looked at this from the perspective of a merchant leveraging the bank's pay later APIs to improve the checkout experience. But how do we get access in the first place? Stepping back to look at the wider picture, there are more actors involved to get it all working. First, the bank wants to share a service, in this case, the Pay Later API, but still maintain some restrictions, such as applying a call limit. Second, it's the merchant who is asking for access to those APIs in order to build better apps. Third, it's the API product managers within the organization who treat APIs as products, and therefore are looking at publishing easy onboarding content and getting an overview of the usage statistics. Now, we'll have a look at how a developer can find those APIs, in this case, as an API consumer again. Here's a sample developer portal of the bank, which allows anyone to browse through the API catalog. Here, we're already logged in as an app developer of a partnering organization, in this case, the merchant. And the first thing a developer typically does is build a developer application. We already have here the deal finder assistant previously created. Upon approval of the bank, you receive credentials, namely an API key and secret to access this Pay Later API. Very often, developers want to test this API and want to see what the response is or how to embed it in an application. We can go into the Pay Later API specification and we can see all the different paths and operations. Under Loan, Payment, and Refund, we can send a test request. For that, first of all, we have to authorize. We select the app from before and authorize that the API key credentials be stored. Now, we can enter some consumer ID and some payment resource identification and execute the call. This will return a payload and give a developer an overview of how the API works. As you can see, Apigee helps accelerate the publishing of APIs, making them ready for consumption while keeping an eye on where they're being used. All in all, this shows what's possible beyond open banking, namely the opportunity to build new customer channels with more control over the data, developers, and partners to create a connected experience. This enhances interoperability between traditional banking data with an API ecosystem. Thanks for listening in, and feel free to read more about our open banking solution and what Apigee provides for APIs and financial services at the link listed in the description below.